Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to topic 13. In this topic, we're going to be seeing how to import AutoCAD files. Now, we have already provided you with the SketchUp file of this bungalow plan, so you guys can get straight to work. But just for your knowledge, we're going to be showing you how to import AutoCAD files and actually create surfaces to work in them. So let's get into it. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to be clicking on File, Import, and you will go on to where you have your AutoCAD DWG file. So we can just select this file and click on import. Now remember over here AutoCAD DWG files have to be selected. If something else is selected then you can please change it to AutoCAD files and press the import button after selecting the file that you want to import. Now once you've imported it you will notice that we have this file over here and you guys can see that we have a ground floor plan, a first floor plan and a site plan over here. And we are really going to be going detailed into this model. So for the first thing, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this file, right click and explode it. Why, why am I exploding it is because every time we import an AutoCAD file, we will have the file as a component with us. So once I explode it, the file will easily get exploded so we can use it all. Now you guys would have noticed that a lot of these files basically have lines over here and no surfaces. So what we have to do is we have to just draw lines like this everywhere to actually go ahead and create surfaces. Because these surfaces will help us to create the entire 3D model by using the push-pull command, that is why we really need to have these surfaces already created. Now there are plugins which can help you to create these surfaces. So one of the best plugins is Make Face plugin and you can easily download that from the extension warehouse. But even though we don't have plugins, we can easily create all these surfaces by using the line tool. Now remember that every plugin that is there for SketchUp is basically multiple tools of SketchUp being used together in a particular way to do a particular thing. So even though we don't have plugins, we can use just the basic native tools of SketchUp to even go ahead and create a lot of things. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly just draw a line over here and draw a line over here as well. Now before we go ahead, I'll just erase this much portion off from here. So we don't need really this plan of this bungalow over here since we will just need a little portion to know where to place the bungalow. But that's it. We won't be needing this entire plan. You can just see I'll delete this off. And leave this off. So we'll just leave this small portion over here, which we can use later on to place our bungalow directly in. Now, once I'm done with this, I'll just draw a line over here, and you can see how this entire surface got created. Similarly, I'll draw a line here. Now, remember, y'all need to 100% make it exploded, otherwise, you will not be having the ability to create surfaces if it's not exploded. So you can see I'm almost done with creating the surface everywhere. It was very easy. It took us very little time to actually go ahead and create these surfaces. But for your ease, we have already provided you the file with which the surfaces are already created. And you all can use that file itself for the modeling. But I would really like it if you guys go ahead and try to create these files as well. Now, once we're done with this much, we can stop and we can start with our modeling process. So I hope you guys understood how to import files from AutoCAD and how to create surfaces even though you don't have the Make Face plugin. Alright guys, thank you for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next topic where we'll begin with the structured design and the structural modeling. Take care.